Hello, I'm Lina Galang, and in this movie we are going to draw a sh a shark. Cameraman, a shark, please. That's better. These are magnificent animals, and I found a way to make this drawing real easy from a straight line with the uh, all the lines there are about, and it will be really simple to follow. So let's start. What we start out with is an eraser and a fill pencil, you can refill and my standard HP pencil and smooth paper. When you start, you simply draw a horizontal line, that's all. And from this horizontal line, you make a, a bow to the end of the horizontal line. Very smoothly. You do the same for the lower part and you notice here that the, the bottom arch is a little bit smaller than the upper arch. From this point of the, the end of the shark you can start with uh, putting in the tail. Two fins they are joined together and the lower fin is a bit smaller than the upper fin. Now we divide the shark in two halves and notice that the, the top, the first dorsal fin is just behind the middle of the shark. Here it goes in a bit lower than the first helpline you placed and it goes straight to the tip of the tail. If you make an imaginary line from the, the real first dorsal fin you can decide where the side fin is, the pectoral fin. Of course there are two of them, so what I do is from below the belly line you can see the other fin. Now we can go to the tip of the nose. The nose of the shark is kind of sharp and here from this tip of the nose I make an S-like line. Then you can see the mouth coming out. The lower jaw is a bit withheld and goes flow slowly and fluidly into the belly line. From the tip of the nose I again make an S-shaped line and from this line I can decide where the eye would come. And take notice that the eye is not coming behind the, the mouth line. I also put in the sharp teeth already. Now I'm getting to the skull of the shark and I've done a study on this. What I did is I made a, already made another drawing of a shark but I also studied where all the bones are. A shark does not have much bone. Most of the bone is here in the skull and the cues, the gills and of course the spine and some bones in the fins, dorsal fins. 
So it's kind of a speeding machine with all muscle and very little bone. So when we go back to the top line the, of the shark, you see a little, it's not quite straight. It's having a little dent there and it goes fluidly into the first dorsal fin. He also has little pelvic fins and they are just behind the great top fin. Between the tail and this little fin, there's the anal fin. It's a little fin, but it's still very typical for a shark. He also has one on his back and that's a bit front of the little fin on the belly line. Now we start out with the gills and also these are fluid little lines that are straight in front of the pectoral fin. Side fin if you want. There are four of these openings and these are the openings where all the water flows through and the shark needs to get a lot of air out of these of the salty water and you can see them coming out of the, the side lines just around the eyes and there is a dividing line from where the top of the shark is dark and the belly of the shark is white. They call him the great white, but really only the belly is white, while his back is grayish. We have now one, two, three, four gills. And I go on with the dividing line between the gray and the white, which is not quite straight, but it has all kinds of little bends in it and I make it yeah a bit going up and down. Now we will speed up the time a little. It's three times as fast and I'm going to shade in the darker areas and I'm doing this a bit more yeah quick and quick time because otherwise it would take very long. Shading in is not much more than simply uh, making little brushes uh, with your pencil, little shady like uh, yeah, darker and, and lighter areas so the, the shark gets more expression. In the cues I carefully place these shadows following the line of the dividing line, the, sharp, the dark, dark and the white. And also in the first dorsal fin I put in a bit of dark shadows. I keep following the dividing line between dark and white and make, I, I keep this playful, this line. Not straight, but simply playful. Now it's getting more and more of a bit of a dynamic feel. Here you see little lines I place. So the pectoral fin looks a bit more yeah, real, realistic, and I also put in the shadow of the, the outer side pectoral fin. Now I take a dirty cloth and I blend in the lines I made because a shark is a really yeah, smooth kind of fish, and this way. I can make it look even smoother. 
also with an eraser, I'm taking out a little bit of highlights and I brush away the helper lines. Now I take this refill pencil. It's uh, also a lead and it's very sharp and now I can make the lines extra dark where I need it. gives it a meaner looking and sharper looking, clean looking uh, look, <laughs> if you like. And uh, I really like this kind of pencil when I'm adding detail to this kind of uh, drawing. This is also in quick time, three times as fast as I would normally draw. Just keep following the lines you already and the shadings you already made. Make it look more realistic by putting in the deepest parts extra dark. The lines around the eyes give the shark more expression. Also, when you get to the mouth part, uh, you can put in the, the deepest point of the mouth extra dark. This will make the tooth pop out better. Little shadows can give the shark real nice Maybe you like to get some surroundings also in it. What you do then is you take a little bit of paper, straight paper, and you take your dirty cloth again and you take it for drawing two lines and it gives it a bit of a sea-like, like, like a, the, the surface of the sea. You can also put in some darker areas in, uh, below the, the shark, place your paper a bit to the left, a bit to the right, so you get that watery expression. You can play around with that all you like. What we are going to do is, uh, we have now drawn this shark. And you have seen the basic of the drawing. So that is the straight line and the placement of the first dorsal fin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw very shortly, but not perfected, the same shark, but from a different angle. So I'm taking the same shark, but now the line is not horizontal, but it's bended. What you do then, is you do exactly the same as you did with the lower shark, but with the bend. You see here, I'm going under the helper line and I'm putting in the caudal fins tail fins just the way as I did on the shark below I also put in the pectoral fin side fin and the gills I almost forgot second side fin, pectoral fin, S-like shaped mouth, lower jaw, the 
definition of the eye. The line of the back fluidly going in to the first dorsal fin. And it's all the same, but with a bend. Here I decide where the perfect fin is. Then in the half of it, there is the little anal fin and the second dorsal fin. Also you see the division of the dark and the white area. And I can also put that in. So it's all the same fish, but this time with a bend. And that's when you first start to give your shark an other movement in his body. What you keep in mind is that uh, the fist is decided in half and where the first dorsal fin is, it's all the same. I'm signing up for now and we will end with uh, some other drawings I did before I found out this way. Here is our study of the bone of the, of the shark. Please try this at home. This is my idea of the first bend. Here I did some drawings of water. Uh, what can you do with shadows in the water? Here's my original tryout for the shark. And the fine. Here I'm already trying out a little more with bending and opening the mouth. And here I did a head study. And to study. Have a good time with it and have fun!